Good evening, good evening everybody. And this is turning out to be quite a stream streak. We're on to seven days in a row now. So welcome to my Sunday night stream where we're going to go through and catch up where we left off. Um, we had a bag full of stuff from our mount run from yesterday. So I need to go through all of that. And then we've also got the usual gold auctions to pick up and things like that. So let's start with looking at what we've got in the bag. See if there's any of this stuff we can sell and any of this stuff we can vendor and what we need to disenchant. So I'm thinking a lot of these consumables, like the potions, really just worth vendoring. So let's head on over to a vendor and have a look. So market value of this is three gold. Ah, good evening, Neo. How are you this fine evening? I hope you're doing well. We're just going through all our bits and pieces we picked up from the mount run yesterday and it's gonna have a look see whether it's worth selling any of these morning glory dew i don't believe um sells that frequently it's 0 0.03 so it's probably not worth putting on and see that seems rather large although the region market value is okay um, major manor I think we can probably just sell this is a 0.08 it's got a 1.3 maybe I could sell that that doesn't look too great the region seems ridiculously high so I'm gonna vendor that and that's down to five golds this one's on for 75 seems way too high. Um, vendor sell is 25 copper. Can't see there's anything worth having that one for. Good thanks. You've been on Sharkham streams all day. Now I'm weaving in some transmogs into your gold making. Excellent. That's good to hear. How's Sharkham doing? I caught him a bit earlier. I think he's coming to the, towards the end of his 24 hours now. I hope he's had uh, lots of fun. Be able to catch him a couple of times. Seems to be doing doing well, holding up after a long stretch. Ah, good evening, Beastie. How are you this fine evening? Hope you're doing well. Glad to see you've gotten back into gold making. It's uh, lovely to see fellow goblins. He's super tired. Yeah, I imagine I would be as well after 24 hours. I used to do that kind of thing when I was younger, but not, not these days, no. Don't think I could... Uh, I don't think I could stomach it so much. Um, what else could we sell? Can't see these really selling. I mean, even though the, the prices are high on these, I just can't see them selling. Grain bread. I mean, that does seem quite high. But the region. But then the min buyout is one gold anyway. That I'm not going to bother with. That's at 13 gold. The region says nothing. The region sale is terrible on that. The region sale averages one gold. So probably not worth. Lebicky ribs we're going to keep. Thermal ammo we'll keep. Scroll of intellect. Can't really see that going too much. What would I do that for? That's 0.04 with a region sale average of 6 gold. So let's try that. That might sell. Lock boxes I need to put in the bank until I find myself a rogue. Actually make myself a rogue. Mark of Illidari. Um, that does have a sale, so we might keep that. This is... 400 black flank core claws. Not sure what those are used for. Uh, Ogre waste stones will keep. Crypt fiend parts. I'll just sell those, I think. Good, thanks. For relaxing in bed. Got me on the big screen. <laughs> That's brilliant. Been a decent week, gold wise. Excellent. Glad, glad to hear it. Right. Vendor buy price. 
of this primal nether is 50 gold. But the sell price is 1 gold 60. So I might as well sell that. Nether vortex, that's 2 gold. And the min buyout is 250. So we'll sell that. The reason why, because I can't see myself really using these. Um, and putting them on the auction house is just going to cost me too much because of the vendor vendor prices. Serpent Flesh, I think we'll just sell. Shadow Silk we want to keep, definitely. Cloth we want to keep. Timeless Tanzanite. Oh, that's a socket. Okay, that's soul bound. Let's sell that. Um, Ica of Undeath. That seems region sales not much, so we'll leave that. Runes, rod we need, secrets we need, light feather we don't need anymore. I remember when we used to have to keep these to be able to um, cast levitation, but not anymore. Right, what kind of stuff have we got here? Anything that's got a okay disenchant value over the others, I'm going to disenchant. Whereas something like that, that's got a higher a higher value, like 1,000, I'm going to put on the auction house. 190, I'm just going to sell. Um, having to have those was annoying. Yes, I remember, what was the one for um, Divine Him? Was it Divine Him? The, the buff we used to do as priests. You used to have to have to keep a whole load of things in the bag just for that. And you'd run out of reagents, would be super, super annoying. Um, that one, I'm going to vendor sell. That one's got a good disenchant, and it's soul pounds, so we'll do that. This is probably worth disenchanting. Yeah, it was candles, wasn't it? Yeah, I seem to remember that. Crimson Felt Hat. Get 58 gold for disenchanting that. Fire Cord will disenchant. This is Soulbound will disenchant. As will this. And this. Because the disenchant value is higher than the vendor sell price. So I might as well disenchant these Soulbound items. And that one. And that binds when equipped. Buyout is terrible, so I'm going to disenchant that one. How's the weapons looking? Well, that one's going for 4,000, but the region has got that at 1,500. It's still, still decent. I'll, I'll sell that. That I won't sell, though. I'm going to disenchant that. And that one's soul bound, so I'll disenchant that. And this one, Twin Blade of the Phoenix. Actually, the vendor, the vendor sell price is higher than the disenchant value, so I'll, I'll sell that. That looks hide, high, hide, high. Three thousand. Region is seven hundred. So we'll put those on. And the recipe, we want to remember this. Enchant Cloak, Greater Dodge. We'll learn that one. Okay, where was that? Greater Dodge. Right, let's learn that. There we go. Devout Candles, there we go. Brilliant. That was it, I remember now. Yeah, yeah I had to have like a couple of stacks of those, just in case. It was very annoying. Right, okay, so that's cleared those out of the bank. We need to pick up all the stuff we dumped in the bank. And then we need to redo our auctions and then we can be back on back in the game as it were. How are you? This is kind of like a bit of maintenance really above anything else. Lock boxes, we've got a load of those. Um, what of this stuff do we need to put in the bags? The stuff we've been holding is that we'll take. 
Um, all the Centinex stuff we can leave. Recipe, Big Voodoo Cloak. Interesting. That's a leather working one, okay. Having a good clear out. <laughs> yes, we are, Lissard. This is from yesterday's uh, mount farm. We're just getting everything that we had and putting it back in in our bags, deciding which things we're going to auction. I need to change my tabard, actually, because I've maxed out my Gilnaeus rep. Um, let's try someone else. Um, let's try this one. Um, let me just change that. Put that on. Where's the tabard? There we go. There we go. And then we'll go back to the bank. Where are you? You need something? Yeah, we need to put that. Where has that gone? Oh, this is the problem with Addy bags. Is it does moving stuff around can be a little bit tricky sometimes. There we go. Hey, Kyofin, how are you doing this fine evening? Hope you're doing well. And I hope you're doing well as well, Lissard. Forgot to say hello to you as you came in there. Right, let's move that down there. Okay, so... That's the great... Oh, these can go in the reagent bank. So let's go and move this over here. Reagents. Large brilliant shards. Greater planar essence. Void crystals. Um, greater Eternal and the Arcane Dust Reagent Bank's full it is saying I've got free space though so that's a little weird well rested um, incisions healing nicely and feeling much better oh that's better um, Caffeine, I'm glad you're on the mend sending healing vibes your way we're doing well here thank you just going through doing a bit of organising at the moment Too away, from, too far away from the bank. Oh, oops! Just bang the microphone. I think that's gone a bit buggy. See you later. Okay, let's try this bank. What can I do for you? There we go. Right. Open my bags up. Greater Eternal. Arcane Dust. Yeah. Okay, this is working now. Um. What else can I put in here? Tomes we're going to keep. Those we're going to try and sell. Other things we want to keep on us are... What's in the reagent bank that we could possibly need? Sumptuous fur, we've only got a few of those, so we'll keep those. We do need to buy some more of those. Chaos Crystals, have you got any here or are they elsewhere? I think they might be elsewhere. Right, what I'll do is I'll go over and put on the things that I've got here. Hey Dustix, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well tonight. Right, okay, so some of these won't be in groups. So what we'll have to do is swap over. Right, some of these things will be like single cell miscellaneous um, old world drops region average so this is going to be the things like the transmoggy stuff like that and that and the pauldrons and that I'm going to put in here stuff that I want to be region value if there's none on to stop me from over inflating them um, and then the rest, yeah, we'll put those on there. And then the selling fives for stuff that we might have some more of, like the healing potion. We'll put that on. The scroll of intellect, even though we do have just a single of that. We'll try that in cell of fives. Uh, scroll of intellect, let's try that. And the dried thing and the mark of the Illidari. Let's try that. Okay. So we'll do a post scan of those. 
see what goes on and then we can see what we're left with if there's anything that needs to go in any other groups and then that should at least keep us so the healing potions going on okay let's check the prices of all of these intellect there's none on so we're putting that at six healing potions going on for one the tomes we had uh, 57 lepiki ribs are going on these are going on for a decent thousand or so undercutting competition all going at normal price so I'm happy with all those pr those prices if they sell they sell it's transmog some of that so it's not going to sell that frequently but at least it's on now a few things going to be ex a lot of things going to be expiring soon so I'll keep an eye out for those when they expire how's our bags looking now all oh, that's looking a lot neater for now let's empty out these other bits I need to get rid of that lock box and then get rid of, um, not get rid of, put in some of the things I'll use regularly and then we'll build it up from there. Hey there. Okay, so you have got free space, so can we put a lockbox? No, that's a reagent. This one. Right, okay. Ah, oh, thank you Shin for the host. Very kind of you. Now the annoying thing here is I'm using the enchanting bag, which is really no use to me. So where's my actual bags see I'm using this um, I've got some really rubbish bags here I've got a dragon hide bag an otherworldly bag which is a 36 lock enchanting bag but that's not really much use to me because all my it needs to either really be in my reagent bank so what I'm thinking is to swap that one out because it's restricting what I can put in here anyway and I've got a 16 slot bag, two 16 slot bags, which is no good. And then 20 slot bags. I'm better off making myself some silk weave satchels and using them myself. In fact, what I think I'll do is take a couple off the auction house. I've probably got some. Treat myself to one of my own hex weave. Oh, that's that's going a bit far, Lizard. Hex weave bags. Um, I'll go with silk weave for now. That's at least uh, a little bit not so cheap. A little bit cheaper, shall we say? Right, where are my silk weave satchels? Here we go. Let's take one, two, three of those. Just pick those up. Well, I haven't checked my mail actually, so they're probably in there. Did I get the new GPU and RAM in the old potato yet? I certainly have, Dustix. And it's we're up to uh, graphics setting 5, which is awesome. We, we were down on 1, and now we've gone all the way up to 5. And it's glorious. I've got particles, I've got shadows, I've got everything. You just sold your first Hexweed bag today. Excellent, congratulations, Neo. Hey Ballsy, thanks for stopping by. Let's stick a... Uh, that's worth... That's worth a thumbs up for, for sales. There we go. Awesome. Right, okay. Keep doing that and you'll have to give it a new name. I know. Super Potato, perhaps. Right, let's just... Um, pick the satchels. I want to go through everything else in a minute after this. I just want to clear my bags first then I'll come back to the mailbox. Right, so let's tidy up this bank a little bit better. Well met. So, right, how do we swap bags easily? I think I'm going to try and just drag one into the other. So, what have we got? 16. These are the 20 slots. So I want to replace the, the 36 and the two 16s. If I just drag this into there, that will do that. And then that, I'm going to try into the that one. There we go, that worked. And then the last one 
into the 16. There we go. That gives me a little bit more space in the regular bank. And then I can just drop in my lockbox, which is the main reason I wanted to drop that in there. Oh, we didn't sell the holy water. There's no real need for that. Not sure if I can even sell that, so I'm just going to destroy that. And that shadow silk I want to put in my reagent bag, I think. So let's swap to that. Can I get shadow silk in there? Yes, I can. Let's put in the cloth as well whilst I'm here. Now these are soul bound. Don't think I can disenchant them, can I? No. So I'm going to vendor sell those. Farewell. There's no no use with those. There we go. We go around this way. I'm going to sell these for one gold and five gold. Is there nothing I can do with those? I don't think so. No. There we go. Okay, um, some of these I might put away actually. Well, now that I've got the bag space, that relic and the other thing. Might as well keep okay. everything clear. So, where's the bag gone? Okay. Um, that's interesting. Where's the actual... I've lost the actual display of the bag. Hmm. You need something? Yes, I need something. I need my bag. Wherever it's disappeared to. I need to be able to switch from reagent over. I wonder if a slash reload will help. Reload. Let's try that. Hmm, very strange. So has everyone had a good weekend, I hope? I believe it's Sunday already. It's gone so quickly. I can't believe I've done seven days in a row of streaming as well. It's nice to get some progression going. I mean, I've done quite a bit on Draenor of late and a bit of expansion onto the old um, different markets. So that's been quite good. Here's the bag. There we go. Right. Okay. So, go on that one. And then we're going to move in that one, Architects of Ashran. And this one, High Mall Relic. Mark of the Illidari. I'm sure we put those on. I'm not sure what these do, so I'll put them in. And that quest. I'm going to leave in and be used at the wall mill or bunker. Okay, that might be useful. Anvil we're going to put on at some point. So some of these things we might want to put on. Hex weave will want. Um, Imperial silk will want. Celestial cloth did those. Um, Blood of Sargeras will need. There we go. You're an EU Taran Mill. Okay, that's cool, Neo. You had an okay day yesterday? You you reset Hexweed bags. Wow, that's a big reset from 2, 4 to 7. You sold a few at 7 and some at 5 and you broke even on gold and had 30 bags left. So your profit was 30 hex weave bags. That's pretty awesome, Dustix. I like those kind of uh, margins. And then you can just keep selling those at either 2,400 or um, or keep hold of them whilst sort of like Battle for Azeroth comes along. That's really nice. Okay, these infinite dust need to go in my reagent bank. There's no point in them being in here because they need to be in the reagent bank to be able to be called upon. 
char crystal, crystallized water, essence of water, primal water. I'm not going to fit all of these in my reagent bank. And we'll need some of those anyway. Light illusion dust. Got some leather here. We need to center all the enchanting we'll want to keep. There's a few other things. Still got my carrot on a stick. I remember getting that. And insignia of the alliance. Cousin a treasure track and we'll leave. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much into this. Okay, let's leave that. Go to the reagent. Best trinket for low level. Yeah. I remember I remember being so delighted when I got it. Right, char crystal, abyss crystal I'll put in. Void. That one. Small heavenly shard. Small dream shard. Greater celestial. Lesser. Lesser cosmic. Greater planar. Some of these are at least going in. Greater eternal. Lesser eternal. Gonna keep that, keep that, keep that. Eternal air. Eternal water. Primal shadow. And that's about it. Unless any of these I've got space for. The shark crystal I'll keep. Infinite dust. Cane dust, light illusion dust. There we go. See you later. That's that done. I think it was the it was the only trinket low level from a quest. Carrot on a stick, your first ever trinket. Yeah, that took you down memory lane. I remember, I remember swapping them out every time I mounted up as well to have my carrot on a stick just for that little bit of extra speed. Right, we're full of stuff in here now. Literally full of stuff that's completely disorganized. Everything's everywhere. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm? Oh, hey there, um, B Trumps. What's the best money-making professions? Um, now, I would say whichever professions you've got, and I would say it all depends on your server and where you're at with those professions. Um, for me, it's been enchanting. Um, others will say other professions have been useful to them. Um, but I found enchanting for for me has been the one that's been totally um, worth it for me. So if anyone were asked me if they were starting from scratch, I would say get get to one ten in Legion first, then do the Legion quest for enchanting, and then work your way backwards from there. And that's how I made my money. Right. Our bag's looking quite healthy. We're gonna need to put some of this away, actually. Primal water. And I'll need something for my daily cooldowns as well, actually. Looking at this. Um, where am I gonna dump this lot? Everything's full. Okay, let's just dump it in here. Crystallized. Put those in. Infinite dust. Okay. So we need what do we need? Some cursed queen fish, I think. What's in our Nomi list? Cursed queen fish is the main one. That's ready for pickup. Okay, so we need to make sure we've got cursed queen fish. Cursed. So it's a cursed queen fish is in this one. Pick up the 163. We'll take those. And what else will we need for our dailies? I can't remember off the top of my head. Probably need some Gorgon Flytrap. 
which will be somewhere. There we go, pick up some of that. Sumptuous fur, we've picked up pretty much all of it, I think. Yeah, we have. Um, this is the wind, this needs wind wool um, for the magnificence. So we'll pick up the wind wool. There. Any more here? That's, don't need that. And what else do we need? Let's check my dailies. Secrets of Drain or Tailoring will need Drainic Dust. I think I might have that in my reagent bank though, so that's easy. Enchanting rather, not tailoring. And this one, cooldown, needs hex weave cloth, needs a sumptuous fur, and fly trap. Now this is it, this is the last of my sumptuous fur. So I'm going to have to find how I'm going to get my sumptuous fur. Because now I can't do any more secrets of drain or tailoring. Actually, bag I can make though. So let's create one of those. Now, celestial cloth needs the wind wool, so we'll make one of those. Oh, thank you, uh, Nutella Day, for the, the host. Right, I have to remember that. Crafted Malevolent Gladiator's Cape of Cruelty. And this one for the Imperial Silk. There we go. Um, Mooncloth Mantle. Right, let's look at those two. Um, let's load that back up a minute. So these we need to add to our list. Um, right. Minimise that. It's not drain all. It's not material, not embroidery, not spell threads, not a bag. Right. A cape or a mantle, so that will be shoulders. And it's crafted dreadful. Not that one. Crafted dreadful. Mooncloth mantle. Yep, it's that one. 938 profit. So let's cue that one. And then the other one is a cape. So let's look for capes, belts, gloves, pants, boots, cloaks. And we want crafted malevolent. It's one of these two. Um, one of cruelty. It's that one. So it's again 931 profit. So let's cue that one up. I'm going to make those two, but we're not going to disenchant them, so shift click those two to ignore them forever. Then we can go into our group, into professions, down to tailoring, expand that out. So tailoring, gladiators tailoring, we'll add in our two new ones. There we go, that adds to the list. So tailoring, enchanting, double and daily cooldowns for those. Got the things we need from the bank. It's looking a bit healthier now, that's for sure. So let's go check our mailbox and then we'll pick up all the expires, have a look if we've made any gold since yesterday, and then we can go onto the restocks. Right, expires in this one, so let's pick all those up. I've got a rich purple silk shirt there, which we need to sell. Now I'll clear that. Well, what was that enchant that we learnt? Forgot to make that. That's going to be way up here on my list, isn't it? You learnt to create... Yeah, it's not on there anymore. There was something I learnt from that recipe and I forgot to add it. Well, I'll have to look through it later. 
Right, base group, everything selected, run post scan. And that one, otherworldly bag. Satchels at 640 now, so they're quite cheap now. There's probably not much profit in those. Yeah, just over a hundred profit in the satchels. I need to get some silk cheaply, really. Right, Hexley bags are at 2,400. So not quite your 3,000, but still, it's still a profit of 2,300. The crafting cost is only 182. Although that's going to change with my sumptuous fur. Right, Tome of Illusions are all going on, that's fine. Right, let's go check. What else is in the mail? Right, more, all got some sales coming in here, so let's take the expires out. What did we sell? Loads of Tomes of Tranquil Mines, a few shirts, green lumberjack and orange mage weave and formal white. Barracuda, Murglar, and some Bear Tartar. Um, what else we do? Orange Mage Weave. Wow, Sharkin. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for the host. How did your stream go? I bet you must be tired by now. Welcome everybody who's come from Sharkin's exhausting 24-hour stream. Hey, Costa. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing tonight? Nice beard. Thank you very much, Shitty the Wizard. I'm cuter than Sharkin. <laughs> That's saying something. A little bit older than Sharkin, perhaps. Hey, Executioner, how are you? Are you doing well? Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Naraxius, for the follow. Very kind of you. Oh, and 10th Vongola. Thank you very much. And hello to Sunny D. You're tired, so you're going to go to bed. I bet, Sharkin. How did it go? Did you, did you enjoy it? Was it a good... Was it a good 24 hours? I popped in a couple of times um, throughout the day, but uh, you seem still alert. Oh, thank you, Aria. Arikanet. It's very kind of you. That's a well-deserved rest, Shark, and I'm sure you're going to want to get some really good sleep for that. But well done on the 24-hour stream. So, for those that have joined me, um, I'm Samadan and I pretty much make gold by using professions. The main ones I use is enchanting, tailoring, and cooking. I also have leather working, which I'm just expanding on now. I've got a few sales that I've just picked up here, and so that's 15,000 in the mail. I'm using TSM4 Beta, um, which has been really amazing. Really enjoyed using that. Ah, oh, thank you for the follows from, I can't quite read those, I have to wait till they come in on the uh, the text, and I hope I don't butcher your names in the process. But thank you all for the follows, it's very kind of you. So going on to this, we're going to repost our last bits and pieces, and then we're going to do some restocks. So this is all the stuff I have here, I'm going to run a post scan, and then I'm going to go check my groups and see what I need to restock on. So we're selling Hydral Expedition Bag, some Barracuda, Fighter Chow, Koi Scented Storm Ray. So food's selling really well. And the enchants, I think they're going to expire at some point. Uh, here come the um, the follows. Callum, uh, Nox, and is that Kretos? I hope I've got that right. How am I liking the TSM beta? It works better than TSM 3. I'm really enjoying it, um, Elita more. I mean, yes, it is still in beta, so there are there are bugs with it, and some features aren't implemented yet, but it is very much um, useful to me. The things I really like about it is being able to arrange my groups really easily. If I go to my groups and I have something like uh, cloaks, that I want to move to another another area, I simply just have to drag and drop 
and move them into that area. It works that easily. And then it'll inherit any of the the operations that go higher up the hierarchy. So organizing groups is really, really easy in TSM4. So that would be the main reason why I'd suggest using it. But obviously, yes, it is still in beta at the moment. So it does come with its kind of issues. I can't search at the moment. Um, cancel scans aren't quite working. The kind of few quality of life things that aren't quite as useful, but you can get round them most of the time by switching to the standard UI, so it's not too inconvenient. I've still been able to make make gold using it, so yes, I definitely uh, would recommend it. You can sign up for the beta by going to the Trade Skill um, Master website, and there's a slash beta I think in the address you can put in, and then that will get you the sign up code, or somewhere in their blog, I believe it is. So whilst those, I think everything's posted that I was going to post, that isn't already undercut. Not sure about that link. Uh, I think I might just have to remove that one. I wouldn't recommend clicking on it. There we go. There we go. Time out of that one. There we go. Ah, thank you, Phonix. That's very, very kind of you. I think I missed all the follows that were coming in. But hopefully I'll catch them when they come in. It looks like that was a spam link, so I wouldn't recommend going on that one. Your voice is amazing, thank you very much. Was about to say that too, Phonics. Thank you very much, Nemesis. And hand handy on can, thank you very much for the follow. I try and I try and make this stream a, a nice casual, relaxed gold making stream. I mean, I've only really been doing this since September uh, last year, and I've made a fair amount of gold in that time, just with professions mainly, and I found it, you know, and that's using TSM. And I kind of try and, my, my philosophy is, as I learn stuff, I'll try and pass it on to everyone. I've got a few videos on YouTube, I've got a few guides there. Um, as I learn stuff, I'll try and help others out and pass on the information. So you're more than welcome to stop by, say hello, give me a follow. Hey Arnold, um, the big difference between TSM 3 and 4, I would say the main one is being able to organize groups um, for a quality of life point of view. And things are kind of organized a lot better. Um, the other thing is, you know that big pause you get with TSM 3 when you, when you first log in, that pause is, um, been removed, which I found really useful, especially with my old computer. I was really struggling with that. The other things is there is a few under the hood improvements with different operations. You can have a few extra things there. All right, I've got a load of follows here. Um, Nemesis, Jake, Phonics, Handy Oaken, Kratos, Nox. Thank you all for the. Uh, Thank you all for the follows, very kind of you. My typical gold profit margins every month. Um, right, let's have a look. My profits have been, uh, can you download the TSM package over the curse add-on? You can for TSM 3, um, TSM 4, you'll have to actually sign up for the beta and get an invite for that. Or you can um, pay for the premium service uh, which allows you to have remote backups and you'll also get an automatic invite into the beta straight away Which is what I did because I found it was you know, it was saving me my my cost of my subscription. So all my subscription costs is now by um, By buying uh, WoW tokens, so if you have a look here 
my gold basically since August, where I started with nothing. I went all the way up to 725, bought some tokens then, and then I went all the way up to 1,293,000. Then I bought enough for six months game time, and then I'm slowly got up, and I'm just over a million now. So I've got another four months of game time left before I then have to buy some more tokens and get some game time. So it's it's going all right. Um, profit margin wise, I'm probably at about sort of three to six hundred thousand a month. Where do you sign up for the beta? Let me find you a link. I'll go and get that for you. Um, and I'll post it in the chat. Um, right, let me have a look. Okay, so this is the blog post for it. And then on this blog post, I'll post this into chat. There we go. And inside there is a link about how to sign up for the beta. There you go. Oh, you found it. Brilliant. Ah, oh, thank you, Escort, for the host. Very kind of you. And thank you, Gold Queen, for the host. Also very kind of you. I've missed any follows. Um, that's... Ferret, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Belsingen and Nemesis. I think I got you before. Um, do I have any quick tips and easy for leveling to max level? I'm assuming you're, you mean cooking, not cocking. Um, I would say is do the do the Legion quests and then start on your journey with Nomi. That's the most frustrating one of all. And then just start making things. And then I think um, if you start making all the Legion things, you'll start be able to put them on and sell them, and then you'll be able to skill up very quickly with that. I also recommend getting the Chef's Hat with the Epicureans Awards. That's definitely useful. Uh, do I do all my TSM groups myself, or did I port them? I made them myself, Ferret. Because TSM, I find, has such a sort of steep learning curve, I started with just something small and then I built from there. So I just did, okay, well, how do I want to post things? Work out what posting operations were. No worries, uh, Noxa, that's no problem. And then I slowly built up my groups from there, Ferret. Oh, thank you, Arnold, for the, uh, for the follow. Um, the chef's hat makes cooking super, super quick. I'll show that in a bit when I do some restocks on my cooking. In fact, I'll go here now, just make sure TSM's registered what I've got. And if I go into my cooking group, and I'll do some restocks here, I'll need to, um, I'll need to pick up some stuff from the guild bank. So if we go to groups, well, this is all my food, I'll restock this. So this is what I need to restock on. So I'll start a gathering, I'll move this down. Then I'll move this across and then select what I need to intermediate craft. All this stuff I need to pick up from the guild bank. So I'll go ahead over here. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Bruno. It's very kind of you to say so. So I'm going to head on over to the guild bank. Pick up all our cooking bits and pieces. Please excuse my bank being quite messy. I've literally just thrown a whole load of stuff on there. We're in the middle of reorganizing it before all you guys came in. So this should hopefully pick up everything I need. From the guild vault. There we go. So now we need to just add in that Suramar Surf and Turf into our cooking. So we'll go into here, go into the crafts, add in Suramar Surf and Turf to our queue. Then I'll move this to the side. Now, 
If I put a campfire down here, I'll stop gathering. And this is how quick the cooking is when you've got a cooking hat on. So I literally click it and it's done. Click it, five hungry magisters. And they're done. Five salads. Five nightborn delicacy platters. So it's really, really worth getting. It goes so fast that it lags exactly. <laughs> And that's and that's with my uh, with my PC, and literally that's all the cooking done already. So, uh, thank you, uh, Falmon. Thanks for stopping by. So to get the cooking hat, you need Epicureans Awards. And in order to do that, you need to do the daily cooking quests. There's one in Old Dalaran, and there's one here in Stormwind, and I believe there's one in um, Iron Forge as well. But I only ever did the the Stormwind one and the old Dalaran one. And all you have to do is fly over to here and do these daily quests. And if you do this one and the old Dalaran one, one of them will give two and the other will give one Epicureans awards. So here we go, we've got the daily quest here. And you do whichever it is, like this one's Penny Penny's Pumpkin Pancakes. So if we did this one, we just gotta head up north for this one. It's really easy pick up some pumpkins, and then go back to the guy and hand them in. So they're really quick dailies. They don't take too long. The old Dalaran's ones can take a little bit longer. And then you, what you need is a hundred Epicureans awards. So if you did it every day, and you did three every day, you know, it'd take you just over a month to do it. But it's worth it, it's worth the grind, because then the chef's hat is so much quicker once you've done it. So definitely I would recommend do these dailies if you haven't got the chef's hat and you'd like to do some cooking. So I understand in BFA they're going to have some other things that are going to make some things go quicker because I'd really like something to help disenchant and go quicker. So I'm looking forward to that if there is something. There we go. So pick up those and then we head on back. And that's as simple as it is really and that will give me an Epicureans award which I've got, at the moment I've got five on me at the moment. So uh, this is basically for, uh, do I enjoy cooking, baking in real life? Um, not much for baking, um, but I do make a mean Sunday roast, I must admit. That's my favorite. All right, back to this one, hand that in. And then you get an Epicurean's reward, and it gives gives you a plus one in cooking skill if you're not already max. So that's really really good if you haven't got the the chef's hat. So the other things I need to do in my routine now is I need to restock on my enchants, and I need to restock on my tailoring. So I'm going to head back here, and I'll go to my enchanting. There is a slight bug at the moment. I'm not sure exactly what's causing it, whether it's Blizzard Ends or TSM's End. I think it's Blizzard's End. It just gives you that pause whilst you're loading up professions. So looking at enchanting, I select my whole group, restock the selected groups. So I've got three elemental forces have been selling really well for me. And I actually sold a mongoose enchant. So these are mainly old world enchants. The new ones haven't sold as as well as they used to. They really they sold really well when 735 came out, but since then they've kind of really uh, tailed off. But I haven't been that active on that market either. So I need to pick up a few bits here. So I'll go gather those items and then move this down to the bottom. So most of this I should be able to pick up Oh no, some of this is going to be auction house, so let's pick up some of those. You've been making tons of Tomes of Illusions and Old World Enchants. Yeah, I found to Tomes of Illusions for me haven't sold that well. The, the, the prices on my server have gone down loads, um, so I haven't found them to be that useful. Although I haven't got the, the two that are harder to get. 
the um, shadow pan one and the other one. I haven't gone around and collected those yet, so they'll make a difference. Um, but the old, the old world enchants certainly have sold really well for me as well. Elemental Force by far has been the best seller for me though. Um, so I'm going to buy these from the auction house, it would seem they're cheaper to get there. So let's go have a look. Let's run back to the auction house. Now I could use the buy option when I go in here, but I think it's bugged out at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just search for these manually. That way if I find any that are cheaper, that I can pick up a more, a larger stock of them. So, greater planar essence. There we are, that's why, because there's some here for 2 gold 50. My purchase price for these is normally 12 gold 79. And the mat cost is 7 gold 67, so yeah, I can see why Gatherer is telling me to buy those rather than collect them up. Um, what else have we got? Large Prismatic Shard. Large Prismatic Shard. So here we need 10 of them. Our purchase price is 22 gold, and they're here at 9 gold. The mat cost is 13 gold, so I mean we could get these from small prismatic shards for that would actually be cheaper because it would be seven gold sixty-nine. So if we picked up some small prismatic shards, those are one gold. So we could maybe pick up, there's only a few there, so I might be better off just buying the large ones instead, because I'm not going to have enough that, for that anyway, for as many as I need anyway, because I need 10 large ones. So I might as well just buy these 18 here anyway, as we've got it there. I might even be tempted to buy that 100. Or Void Shatter, that's a good point, Murder, yes. I could go the other way, couldn't I? Um, although saying that, I don't think I've got Void Shatter as a... Um, you learn it, I believe. I believe it's hidden behind... I remember looking it up. I think, if memory serves, it's in Shatrath behind... Um, no, the Isle of Kel'Thalas, I think. Um, behind reputation, um, void shatter. I think it's in my unlearned. Yes, I haven't learnt it. It's the um, I need honoured with shattered sun, um, and the Isle of Kel Keldanas. That is, but I don't have the reputation for that, unfortunately. So I'll move that down there, just excuse me, moving my windows around. And then arcane dust is the last thing we need. And that's quite cheap as well, so we'll pick some of this up. Um, two gold, that's one gold. So I'm going to buy both the 20 and the 15. There we go. And on to pick that up from the mailbox. There we go, that's all the gathering done. Ah, good evening Emery. How are you this fine evening? Hope you're doing well. So we're going to go with Mongoose, three elemental forces and one gift of haste. And then we need to look at tailoring for restocking will be my last restock. So we'll go on to that. Right, okay, so looking at our tailoring groups uh, down here, restock selected groups. We've got a couple of shirts and we did actually sell one of these, I believe. So um, 
your world, you started cra crafting the epic gems and sold almost instantly. Well, that's brilliant, Emery. So what's your profit margins on those? I hope they're quite decent. I know that's quite a time investment doing the epic things. Right, let's gather this. Start gathering. Oh, lots of things here. So intermediate crafts. We need the wind wool, the frost weave, and the mage weave. And switch back to gathering. We need to pick up the dyes from the guild vault. And then the bolts we can make easily enough. That's everything. So we now need a bolt of wind wool cloth. Uh, which I believe we've got already as a favourite. So I'll just make a bunch of these, because we can need those. There's almost no time investment. Okay, just got to get hands on as much Imperium as you can. Oh, okay, well that sounds great. And it's 300 per, so you're doubling your money. Well, doubling your money sounds good. I'd go with those. And selling instantly is even better. So you found yourself a nice market there. Right, I'm going to make more wind wool cloth because I need it for my celestial and imperial cooldowns. Ah, oh, thank you, Hogstout, for the host. It's very kind of you. So I might as well do this, do all this wind wool whilst we're here, and then I've got some in stock for the um, celestial cloth and imperial silk. Selling incident when you're posting right before and after a raid. Yes, absolutely. Timing's critical on anything, really, isn't it? But still, that sounds pretty good, Emery. Right, crafting. So we can make orange mage weave, green lumberjack. Your imperial silk hatch today. Did you get yourself a nice little uh, worm moth? It's a moth, isn't it? Yes. I remember... I've got one. I haven't been able to sell it yet. Imperial Silk Moth, the pet, isn't it? Right, okay, so... On to here, and... We're going to post all these things that we just made. Now we're going to have all our enchants expiring very soon. So that's going to hopefully help with um, putting those on. 18th attempt. Well, that's, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, what's below min price? Silk trousers. OK, we'll have a check there. Um, high pop server auction houses are still slow. Yeah, I think some of them, some particular um, servers can be. Um, just miss out on the chat there. Um, did I miss something from that? The uh, 18th attempt, there we go. Something crazy high, like three months. That is that is crazy. Wish the guild bank wasn't show, slow. Yes, that's definitely one thing I'd love to have um, a bit faster. It is very sluggish. Right, let's just post all this lot on. And what am I missing? Is this is below min price. Um, now that's different actually. That crafted malevolent silk trousers is actually in my 48 hour DB region for some reason. That shouldn't be in there. So let me just double check my groups on that one. So going into, I think that was old world region. These are random things that I've had before, I believe. That's not in that one. Where was it? It was in another one, perhaps. Mass cell? Old world? No. Time of Tranquil. Contenders is not that one. There we go. 
this one. I'll remove that one from there. I'm going to put it in our gladiator's tailoring one because that's more appropriate now that we can make these things ourselves. There we go. Have I ever had 64 people watch my stream? Um, I think my max ever is 74 costuk, so that's pretty much up there. I'd say it's um, it's pretty amazing. So thank you all for uh, sticking by me. I hope you find it entertaining and perhaps a little bit um, relaxing or what's the word I'm looking for? No, forgotten the word. Something about learning. But in any ways, I hope you're enjoying the streams, those that are sticking by me. Soothing. There we go. Educational. Thank you. Oh, there was 101 when you arrived. Yes, absolutely. It did It did peak higher. So I'll have to check what um, Twitch tells me it is at the end. Informative. Lovely. Thank you all for the words that I was completely missing. That's awesome, thank you. Right, so we're going to do a post scan. Ah, that's invalid. Now this is invalid because I moved, I can't actually make these yet. So that's why that's gone there. All I know is you're easy to listen and you pick up tips from me too. Well, that's brilliant. That's exactly how I've wanted to target the stream. So that's brilliant. Oh, it's because uh, Sharkin very kindly um, hosted me, Emery, after his 24-hour stream. So uh, that's why we've suddenly got a uh, we've got a big boost to our numbers. So putting those malevolent gladiator silk trousers was a bit of an error because we can't make them yet. So we need to put that back. I'm going to keep this up here so I can remember the name of it. You're, you're new to uh, gold making, Kaifin. Well, I hope you managed to pick up some tips whilst you're here. There's plenty of knowledgeable people in the chat as well as myself. And um, if you ever go to um, the WoW Economy Reddit server, um, there's loads of things there. Or on YouTube, I've got some guides um, that go through the old TSM3. Um, my YouTube name's the same as it is here, Samadan Plays WoW. Um, how do I like TSM4? I love it. Um, it's a Manza. I think it's a, a vast improvement over TSM3 and being able to organize groups has been really good. It's still in beta so there are some functions missing um, but I'm sure once we've got those it's going to be much much um, smoother in terms of operations. But in terms of being able to organize groups that's the biggest thing for me. I really enjoy how you can do that. Right, so we had this group, this one that was in the wrong group. I moved it into the uh, the crafting group, not being able to craft it myself yet. So uh, can I dot down and check the price of prismatic scale and check the price of motive harmony and spirit of harmony? Okay. They're going to be useful, aren't they? Um, I do have prismatic scale in my shopping list. Um, I'm just going to take this out of this group and then I'll come and have a look at those two. I ought to add those other two into um, my shopping list. So we're looking for crafted malevolent. Where is crafted malevolent? Doesn't help with the tooltip going over here. My screen resolution is really low so um, malevolent gladiators silk satin silk trousers those ones. I'll remove those again. There we go. Right so looking, oops wrong button. So looking for um, prismatic scale now I believe I've got that in a shopping operation. We'll have a look in shopping, uh, leatherworking items. I believe it's in this one already. Yeah, I've got it there. Prismatic scale. It's currently 
213% of my average buy price, which is 90 silver, so it's now 1 gold 93. The moats and the spirits, I'm not sure I've actually got a shopping operation for those, so let's look for those individually. Moat of Harmony. Moats are going for 24 gold. I'm actually going to buy one of these. Ah, dirt cheap on my server. Okay. The prismatic scales do seem to be quite cheap. Um, I do think I need to start collecting these up though. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to need them for yet, but I'm going to buy one and then I'm going to look for spirit. Because I have heard these. So these are up to 399. Are the go for 20 gold plus on your server? Wow, for the prismatic scales. That's it just goes to show the differences in servers and the pricing. So what might work for one person on one server just may not work on another. And these spirits at 399 seem pretty pretty pricey. 250 gold is pretty much your map price of Spirits of Harmony. Wow. I have a map cost of 402 according to TSM. So what I'm going to do, go for the moats instead. Yeah, it would seem so. You remember when they were bind on pickup? Oh well, Phonics. I missed out on um, Mr. Pandaria when it came out. I mean, a little bit about me. I mean, I started, I started way, way back at Vanilla, and Samadan. This priest here was my first and only character, and I've had him for 13 years. And I started with Vanilla, I went through Burning Crusade, I went through Wrath of the Lich King, and then I had children, and so kind of uh, life took a different sort of importance for me. And so I didn't play for quite a while. I missed Cataclysm, I missed um, Mr. Pandaria, and I missed Warlords of Draenor, and then with Legion coming out, um, I wasn't there at launch, but a few months after I got Legion, and I've been enjoying it ever since. Um, you just flipped 120 Spirits of Harmony into the other items. Oh, okay, and Prismatic Scales are 9 gold in your server. Um, and you can plant those on your farm. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I've not looked into the farm on um, on Pandaria. I know Shin's Tales of Gold was um, was doing that. I need to just pick up that Moat of Harmony. I don't believe I've got it in a shopping operation. So what I'm going to do is go to my groups and in my favourite shopping, all the good stuff, I like to put it in here. So I'm going to put Moat of Harmony in there so then I can check for the price of that. I use the farm for golden lotuses. I believe that's what Shin uses his for as well. Right, okay, so with that done, I think this needs to have this back in it. Add that back in. There we go. Actually, probably didn't want to do that. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put that in region average instead. See if that's a better group for that one. Uh, also black and white thrillium, okay. About 50k sell value, bought value of 36,000. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of uh, Spirit for Harmony flips, isn't it? Well, congratulations on that, Costoc. Right, okay, so with that done, how long have I got before those enchants expire? Let's have a look at them on my auctions. Less than 30 minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull them off now. So select anything under 30 minutes and just do a cancel on all of those. and then we can get those off and reposted 
because we might get some sales. I know it's late, but you never know. It depends when people are finishing up, whether they're collecting new equipment. Usually not so much. I mean, the Legion and Chance aren't selling as much as they used to. It was a scary call, but the market's nearly empty on your server, so you can fill whatever you like. Oh, we bought someday, and you don't care for undercuts. Exactly, just take take whatever you will from it. Oh, we sold a, a Nazari salad. If it's really cheap, you just pick it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that with, you know, everything that I can is literally just... Uh, if it's in my list, in my shopping list to buy, if it's cheaper than I bought it for, if it's under my average buy price, then I'll buy it. All right, let's pick up all of these. Oh, we've got a cocoon as well. There we go. Oh, TSM didn't like that, so let's try that again. Okay, so once these have all opened up, going a little bit sluggish, um, won't wait for those seven. I'll post these on first and then I'll come back to it. There we go. And auctioning, run post scan. Um, what's the bag add on? The bag add on is called Addy Bags. I'll type it in, Addy Bags. Oh no, I spelt that wrong. Addy Bags. That's better. Well, it's really handy for um, reorganizing everything automatically. All right, let's get these on. Ah, oh, thank you for the follow, um, a farmer. Farmer Hank, it's very kind of you. Right, okay, so those are posted. We'll pick up the last lots from the auction house. Giant growth and vers versatility. Pick those back up. Now we're gonna to need to do some errands around Dalaran and our garrison next, now that we've got everything posted on. Once these are gone on. We haven't done a shopping scan though, so it's probably worth having a quick look at that before we go off on our adventures. Uh, the usual things I like to look for is cloth. Do a quick search of that. As a tailor, I try and pick up anything that's under my average buy price. So my shopping operation is literally just average buy and I've got smart averages turned on. So the average that TSM calculates is literally what I've got in stock. It's not my historical average. So it's more current. Ooh, there's some fell cloth looking quite cheap there. That's really good for my moon cloth robe. So now experiment. Are the gems going to sell if you post them now? Oh, that's a good question, Emery. Um, give it a go. I mean, you're on a fairly high pop server, though. I mean, I know it's late, um, but it is Sunday, so you never know. Some people might be clawing onto the weekend for as much as they can. And 22. Yeah, let's buy it for 22 as well. I'll buy that one. 100 is the next one, so that's definitely not worth buying. Mage Weave, we have 1,600 of it, so it's probably not... Well, we're only going to buy the one. The rest is all is all there. Can you see in TSM4 how much you have listed on the auction house? Per character, all characters. Um, I believe this is just my character. I would have to have a look in, I wonder if, yeah, so you've got player gold here and it says all characters and guilds. If I change this to Samadan, well, let's try to someone who hasn't got any. 
And it's just earthen. So earthen's got um, 18,000 gold. Uh, Bridget has none. And Trader Joe's, my guild, has 944. I'm not sure what that is actually registering though. Because Samadan has the 944 there. But it's obviously higher there. And all characters and guilds, 963. So that adds in what Earthen had which is the 18,000. Maybe if I do this from past month, might be a bit more accurate. Yeah, that's gone to a million there. And then Earthen is 18,000 there. So yes, you can. Oh, there goes our lovely auctioneers. That's a shame. Oh no, one survived. Alright, uh, so we were looking at cloth. We picked up the fell cloth, which was good. Let's have a look at some cloth bolts, see if there's any cheaper ones there. Heal him. That might flag me for PvP though, wouldn't it? Or bubble. <laughs> Looks like they're back. Except this one's floating now, interestingly. Um, bolts don't look particularly cheap other than this linen one, which is 55% at 55 silver. I'll pick that up. And then going on to the good stuff. So this is lots of different bits and pieces for different... Um oh, that's quite cheap. Are we going back? No, we're not. Um, this is all different things that I sort of um, want to collect over time. If I can get it cheap, I will. The formula for bolts, I believe I'm going on the crafting cost that um, TSM is telling me, or it's going to be my average buy cost. I'm not sure. Uh, let's have a look. It might be on average buy. Um, let me just check. So on our groups, cloth bolts, group operations. Um, yes, it's using our shopping average buy. So ideally that would be different, wouldn't it? So we would probably want to change that to crafting. So I wonder if we can change that to... Let's create, override the parent. Let's create a new operation. I'm going to call this operation. Would it be easier to have cloth and bolts in the same list? That way you can easily, if four or five cloth is cheaper or more expensive than a bolt. That might be useful actually, Lissard. I'm not sure. Um, the reasoning behind them, that I put them at the moment, was I wasn't sure whether it was four or five. But obviously, yes, having them together is a, is an option. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try a different operation um, for crafting. See if this works. Um, so the maximum auction price per item would be, let's say, because linen is two, okay. Wool is three and silk is four, so it's slightly different per one. I wonder if crafting would like that, and I turn that on. What would it show us? So if we turn this off again and back on again, and have a look at cloth bolts. So run a shopping scan now. So the bolt of ember silk Oh, a gem sale just happened. That's brilliant. You keep calculating, so it should be crafting over average buy. Oh, we just sold elixir of giant growth. Well, that's unusual. So now this is ordered, I believe, by crafting cost. 
So this is showing a crafting cost of negative amounts because five ember silk cloth. Oh, we just phased. Run a shopping scan. So the mat cost is 25 according to that. Min buyouts 24. But the price of ember silk cloth is at 96. My average purchase price is 24.93. So I'm my purchase price is under my mat cost price. So basically that means that ember silk cloth is worth buying by that calculation. And there's quite a lot of it. Let me just double check this by checking the price of my actual ember silk cloth. Let's put them both in and see how that works. Here we go. So ember silk price is currently at 36. So someone's definitely reset that. The mat cost for ember silk should be my average buy really because that's how I get it mainly. So what I think I'd have to do in this case, um, TSM doesn't know how to get the ember silk cloth because it's got the mat cost of 19 gold whereas my purchase price of ember silk is 2 gold 26. So what we really need to do is go into our tailoring and make sure that our prices for all these cloths are average buy. So we'll go into our crafting reports. Let's do these one by one. What I'll do is I'll swap this out and just go to cloth. So we've got a list of the cloth we're going to compare. So this we just want to make sure that the prices are correct because the default that TSM puts in isn't always that useful. Price from your price of materials from cloth is average by yep, and bolts is crafting. Yes, I think so. Or it will be the cheapest. The bolts should be the cheapest between either average by or crafting. It, look, it looked a bit off, I think so. Let's just double check our prices. So, um, we're in tailoring, aren't we? So, I think bolt of ember silk should be the minimum between crafting and average buy. Whichever these two are. Um, DB Market as well, perhaps, if we can buy them and we haven't bought them. Or should we just keep it to DB Market? Not DB Market, crafting and average buy. Let's try something like that. I'll copy that and we're going to use that. So that was Ember Silk. DB Market's all over the place. Yes, I, I, tr I tend to not trust DB Market for that very reason. So let's try it. Just ones we know. Crafting an average buy. So Ember Silk, Frost Weave, Linen. I'll do the same for... Um, imbued frost weave and imbued nether weave as we're here doing all these so I'll select these mage weave will change uh, linen so that's see that hasn't changed let me try that again paste oh no what have we got? Um, invalid custom price. Okay. Why is that 
invalid. Let's look at this again. Ember silk. That's because we've got two brackets. That's why. There we go. Syntax error. Frost weave. Let's do that again. There we go. That's correct. Imbued frost weave. There we go. Imbued another weave. And then we go there. And linen. So this is just making sure that our prices for the cloth is accurate. Uh, mage weave, did we do? Yeah, we did that. Nether weave. Not nether weave, yes, nether weave. And rune cloth. Don't know what that hidden one is. Oh, shadow cloth. Silk cloth. Um, that's interesting. That's got the average buy of that times four. I must have changed that at some point. I wonder if I need to craft a lot of antique things. I think I may need to, um, Costa. I've got so much cloth on me now. Uh, silk, soul cloth, wind wool. There we go. And woolen. Okay. And then we go to the actual cloth itself. So looking at this alphabetically, we need to go to linen first. Linen cloth is average by. Okay, copy that. Close that. Uh, mage weave cloth needs to be reset to average by. Um, wool cloth. Okay, it's not in alphabetical order. Let's try that in alphabetical order. Close that. I'm on all professions. Ah, well spotted. Thank you. Let's make it easier. Okay, let's start at the top. Ember silk, ember silk, paste, uh, fell cloth, definitely should be average by, which it is, frost weave is not average by, so it should be that, and linen we did, I believe, um, moon cloth, oh, actually whilst that's here, Moon cloth is the price of fell cloth times two. So that should really be that mouse sound. Is it still alive? Yes, yes it is. It's quite a quite a noisy clicky wheel, unfortunately. Um, now moon cloth I usually I get from my fell cloth. So it should be the mat cost of two times fell cloth. So looking at our fell cloth item ID. What's fell cloth? One, four, two, five, six. One four two five six times two. Where's times times two? Oh, didn't like that. Invalid custom price. Let's make I sure I've got foul cloth correct. It is one four two five six. Maybe it's because fell cloth hasn't 
been updated yet. Well, let's have a look. Fell cloth is average by. Ah, maybe we need to go. We'll do this instead. We'll go. Why not just 100% crafting? Yeah, actually that could work too, couldn't it, Costo? Good thinking. So let's just go with crafting, because that's effectively the same. Crafting. And then the mat cost should work. There we go. Thank you, Hieronymus. We're on the we're on the same page here. Excellent. And then nether weave. Average buy. And what are we missing? I haven't actually got nether weave in my list, so we're missing that. And then Shadow Eye Silk we know we've got. Um, silk cloth should be average buy. There we go. You're now going through the exact same learning curve as you did today. Only took since Christmas. <laughs> Absolutely caustic. Hey, right one two. Thank you uh, ever so much for stopping by. Working my way to 100 viewers soon. Very nice. All thanks to Sharkin's um, very kind host after his 24 hour stream. But uh, yes, it was very much appreciated. I'm enjoying the company of everybody and I hope they're enjoying my company. Just going through and adjusting the price of our cloth to be more correct to the average buy price, which is the average buy price there. We are excellent. Good to hear. Right, okay, so that's the price of those cloths reset correctly. So now, that being said, be right back. Food run, no worries, uh, Kayafin. Thanks for stopping by anyway. Uh, you still struggle with setting price for soulbound items. Hexweave comes to mind. How did I set, set mine? Now, Hexweave, I set based on the price of my sumptuous fur because for my hex weave, because I haven't got the primal spirit from Dorothy 2 yet, I'm literally, the only way I'm getting hex weave at the moment is by using my trade, uh, my tailoring um, cooldowns. And then also the, um, I'm adding in the um, tailoring emporium, but I'm not using that to calculate my price. I'm just using the dailies. So what I did for the hex weave was because you get, um, are you following me, Emery? No, you're here first. You went for the price of primal weaving. Okay, yes. Um, if I had that, then I'd be using using that, I think. Um, but as it is, I'm using, where is my hex weave price? Um, hex weave cloth. So I'm going with the average buy of sumptuous fur. And luckily I did pick up a load of sumptuous fur really cheaply. Now, unfortunately I've just run out of sumptuous fur. So I'm gonna to have to rethink my sources here. I'm either gonna to have to farm sumptuous fur or I'm gonna see if I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna to have to buy it at the higher price, which is gonna completely change my profit margins for hex weave bags. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got options, um, but I've left it for now. But primal weaving is really expensive. Um, the bag might not be profitable that way. Yes, that's a good point, um, Emery. I'm not. Sh I've not done the calculation myself, so I don't know what the um, what the uh, the margin is. Ah, it's Amanda. Thank you very much for the follow. It's very kind of you. So, looking at that, we were looking at cloth and cloth bolts. So if we run a shopping scan now, hopefully that will have updated the prices. So there we can see the bolt of ember silk is not as cheap because the mat cost of ember silk cost is based off the average buy cost of the... Oh, that was quick, Kaifin. Super quick. So basically the bolts 
are now looking not, excuse me, not worth buying. Ah, uh, good night, Neo. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. Work in the morning, unfortunately. Oh, well, get a good rest and hope to see you again soon. Ah, uh, thank you, Claytonio, for the follow. So now looking at our cloth, this should be, ba this is all based off of average buy anyway. What you do is make sure the garrison gets done on your tailor. And the second buy Mr. Pandaria herbs cheap. When the herb trader is up, you trade them for spirits. And then when the fur is 16 resources um, on the vendor, you load up. Ah, yes. I've been doing that with the fur for 16, definitely. Um, but the... Um, do you mean Mr. Pandaria herbs cheap, or do you mean Ward herbs cheap? Right, one, two. Because um, I've heard of that buying the buying the herbs cheap and then get them for the spirits is the cheapest way of getting them. Yes, yeah, sorry, Ward. Okay, right. Yeah, that makes sense. You can always make extra with the no cooldown um, way. So yeah, that's that does sound like the cheapest way I've heard as well, right one too. Um, obviously without the primal weaving yet, that's always a, um, a tricky one. And you have like 50,000 spirits on all your tailors. Wow, that's loads. But I really need to look at that and get myself a shopping list of all the um, water to drain all um, herbs so that I can do the same once I get primal weaving. There's no reason why I can't start stocking up on that now, but uh, that's another thing for another time, I think. I won't do it tonight. I've already got loads that I've done already, which has been amazing. So let's have a look. Is any of this stuff looking cheap that I haven't already got lots of? Eternal Life and Essence of Undeath are looking cheap chilled meat I don't need anymore if I was doing the cooking dailies I'd need this ah there we go uh, fireweed starred flower talador orchid gorgon flytrap excellent yikes no worries Costa I got exactly what you meant the extra binary code is more for uh, more for effect okay whilst you've got those up then I'm going to use those to make myself a shopping list so I've got these in the bank so now I've set my garrison up to do the Gorgon flytrap so I've got that a plenty but there's no reason why I can't buy up more so let's have a look at your list let's start with fireweed fireweed right we'll pick up some of that and then you read that binary for weak mailbox. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, don't forget the ore sometimes. You can get them cheaper than herbs. Ah, oh, okay, excellent. Thank you, Bad Dory. Um, what else did we need? What was on that list? Um, star flower. Do I have any star flower? Yes, I do. And Talador. We do. And Gorgrind, we have I know we have plenty of that. Pick up a stack of that for now. And Nagrand. There we go. Okay. So with those in my bags, it'll be easy to set up a group. If they're not put somewhere ridiculous already, are these in a group? No, none of them are in a group. Okay, so going into our groups, we'll make another shopping. I'm going to add a new one in. I'm going to call this Wad, Herbs, and Ore. Okay, so we're going to add in Fireweed, Flytrap, Arrow Bloom, Starflower, Talador, Orchid. There we go. 
and Blackrock Ore and True Iron Ore. Excellent, thank you for that. How's my Sorceress Earth looking like? Uh, I do believe I'm alright with that. Let's have a look. Um, Sorceress Fire Earth. Where's the Earth? Ooh. I might have sent it all to Earthen, I think. Because as soon as I can start weaving, I'm going to need that. Okay. Oh, someone's bought a Nightborn Galaxy Platter. Right, so let's go. Let's do some shopping for these because I'll need those. I'll add them to my mailbox. So I'll purchase some Blackrock Ore. Let's have a look what these are going for. Black Rock Ore. 56 silver for, 20, for 200. Okay. And the other one is True Iron Ore. True Iron Ore. Oh, well, that's looking a bit pricier. 3 gold 83. I have purchased some before at 1 gold 56. You buy at 50 silver. So people do dump it. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do, just so that I've got some, I haven't got any on me, so it's a lot easier to add them to a group if I've got some. I'll just buy the, buy the six. And then we've got some. And then, I can, like you said, keep an eye on it and wait for it to be much cheaper than that. And Sorceress Earth, I think I might already have. I can't spell Sorceress. Oh, no, that was correct. Sorceress Earth is there at 83%. 10 gold, that's quite pricey, isn't it? What's my average purchase price? It's 3 gold 91. There we go. Okay, anyone good with macros, you need to put in one macro for your tune to interact with the target cast spell and loot just one tune. Will it just... Will it work just as it says, more or less? Ooh... Sorry, I can't help you write one too. Anyone else can help with that. I'm not a macro person, unfortunately. So that's super expensive. At that price. It's the US spelling. <laughs> uh, might pay to use a set price for buying the, the herbs and ores. Yes, I think so. That might be handy. And then anything under, under like, one gold or something like that. Keep an eye on it. It took you weeks to get all the ingredients going. You transmute now. Ah, okay, yes, there's transmuting as well, isn't there? There's some down here, which you... Oh, that's source just fire. That's the wrong one. There we go. Okay, for the purposes of making our group complete and... Actually, no, I do have Sorcerer Surf. I, ha I have it in the bank. Hold the fort. Hold the fort, indeed. So we're going to go and look in the bank. It must be in our reagent bank. Here we go. Sorcerous Earth. Okay, here we go. Let's pick some up. So this has got an average buy price of 3 gold 91 so that's much better. So we can make up this group now. Call this group um, Wad, Herbs and Ore. And we've got those in. We need to pick the others from the... So am I going to get Alchemy on Earthen? Ooh, now I'm not sure I will with Earthen because I'm really enjoying him having leather working and skinning. Um... But I do have my troll uh, druid, but unfortunately being horde side, he's not going to be able to pass things from one to another. I was thinking of doing alchemy on him. I do have a gnome warlock, hellfire, that is not very high level at all. If I could level her up, then she would make a good alchemist, I think. 
really do with that. You just want to experiment, okay. And CKS, oh, okay. So that's what the macro's for. I used to be really good at macros back in the day with EverQuest, but with um, with War uh, World of Warcraft, I haven't I haven't really delved into them, unfortunately. All right, let's pick those up as we've got them. Right, okay. So looking back at that group we were working on, World of Draenor, Herbs and Ore, Black Rock Ore. Our Sorceress Earth isn't in there. I think I've put it here. No, it's not in there. Where have I put it? Let's have a look in my bags. It'll tell me if I hover over it. It's in my favourite shopping good stuff already. Okay, so I have been looking for Sorceress Earth. That would explain it. Um, yeah, because I've got air, uh, I've got air, earth, and fire and water here already. I really need an alchemist. Okay, Emery. I'm going to have to do some leveling, I think, aren't I? Hey, ordinary stream 665. I am playing a priest. Um, seems you're having it easier on this stuff than last time. I'm using the word okay a lot less. <laughs> yes. I think I, I have I have my good days and my bad days of brain power. Heals for the win, absolutely. Uh, the sapphire spell thread sold for three k. Well, that sounds good, Emery. Is sapphire spell thread an alchemy thing? It sounds like it would be a tailoring thing. It is okay. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Fly Tanks, for the follow. Very kind of you. Right, okay. Oh, I've said right, okay. Sorry, Caustic. Here we go. So we've got the herbs and the ore. So we'll do a little search for this. Run a shopping scan. Now these should be average buy, really. Mat cost, I don't think I've really looked at those. They don't have a mat cost. These should be average, average buy. Your husband pointed it out last time that they were having a hard time with us. No, it's a tailoring thing. You need to have Kirin Tor Exalted for it. Ah, uh, well, thank, thank you, Costa, for your for your husband. I think um, I think it's always it's always difficult sometimes to follow um, text to comprehension in my brain sometimes, and getting the principles. But we get there in the end, and if not, I can always uh, watch the uh, the vod back and 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 see what happens there. You're the only one on Argent Dawn selling it, okay. But having the Kirin Tor Exalted is the thing, okay. Um, Kirin Tor, I wonder if I've got that. Reputation. Kirin Tor Offensive, I'm just friendly. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to go back to... Um, and area, especially now that I've got a better graphics card. I'm sure it looks beautiful now. Right. I process and communicate information like a INTJ. I know I have done the um, the Myers Briggs, and I can't remember what I came out at. Definitely the IN side of things, and I'm not sure what the other two letters were for me. Right, okay, so we're going to do that. Price-wise on these, did we set this to average buy? I'm not sure we did. Oh, not Kirin Tor Offensive. Okay, just Kirin Tor. Ah, from Wrath. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Emery. Let's have a look at that then. 
classic Wrath. Kieran Tall, I'm honoured with that. So that's not too bad. Does it go honoured, then revered, then exalted, doesn't it? So I'm a little ways off. That's worth getting then. What was the... Um, Sapphire spell thread you said. I'm going to copy that and put that in my list of things to look up. So we go on to here, go into my gold making spreadsheet. Move this over here so everyone can see. This is my mind board for gold making where I put all my thoughts and there's a list of stuffs to do and so we're going to put this in let's put this in here actually let's put, make a new one let's paste it in here Sapphire Spell Fred we need Wrath of the Lich King Kirin Tor Exalted Emery sells for 3k. There we go. I've got my little note there. I'll remember that one. Right, there we go. It's a terrible rep to get. Ah, good evening, Willie Long. Thanks for stopping by. You just waited for the time walking and you got the rep tokens. Ah, oh, yes, the, the time walking that's worth doing as well, isn't it? I haven't done that in. I just haven't done that, in fact. It's another thing I haven't done. So looking at where I'm at, we were doing shopping, weren't we? We were looking at the all. Let's run a quick shopping scan. Um, which trader is there tomorrow? Um, but did I check? Um, I haven't checked, actually, Costa. Are you going to tell me it's Dorothy 2 tomorrow? Let's have a look. Actually, no, I'll move that over here and I can look on this side. Save filling the screen up. EU is... We're on... What day is it today? Oh, it's gone past midnight now, hasn't it? So today is the 5th. So we should have the fur trader. So it should be Dorothy 2, the uh, the fur trader. But whether that's... Does it come round at midnight? I'm not sure it does. Or does it come down on reset, which is 7 in the morning? That's interesting. All these have been reset at 5 gold. Someone's gone through and reset all of those. 8 a.m. Okay. So I can do that tomorrow. I'll have to try and remember remember that to have a look at her. Okay, so not much worth buying there. We've done all those. Let's have a quick look at a leather working. For you in the UK, it's 7 a.m. Hey, Sephorium, how are you? Hope you're having a great evening. Ah, so what have we got here? Shah touched isn't really worth buying, I hear now on good authority. But that is at 69 so Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> I think I might have to get some more water. Excuse me one moment, I'll be right back. Thank you, Achilles, for the follow. Very kind of you. Um, five times 65 is three gold, 25. 
My average buy for exotic leather is 4 gold 55. So that is cheaper. Excellent. Thank you, Costa, for the uh, for the math. Right, so we'll buy that at 69 silver. 74 silver. How much else is there? Anything under... I mean, exotic is 455. So maybe if I buy that and that, that would be just about the right sort of price. So I might as well, because exotic is hard to get hold of with its price being... 1,291 gold. I think that's a little pricey for exotic leather. <laughs> little pricey. Anything under 90 silver. Okay, thank you, Kostek. So as tempting as it is to buy those four, I'll leave that. So exotic leather seems quite hard to get hold of. Um, magnificent hide, on the other hand. Because the crafting cost is 50 exotic leather, buying that for 73 when it's normally at 106 purchase price seems a really good idea. So I'm going to buy that 40 at that price, definitely. Oh, you found found your macro answer. Excellent, right one too. Oh, thank you, Mocky Stream, for the host. And 99. Seventy-three, um, hundred and fifty is more the price of magnificent. The mat cost is coming in at one hundred and fifty-two gold. Um, so the exotic leather there. Looking at that, I haven't set my exotic leather price, perhaps. Region market is agreeing with you. Okay, Emery, thanks ever so much for stopping by. One thirty in the morning, so uh, yeah, that's late. Have a great, have a great sleep. Right, what should we buy this for? Borean leather, two gold seventy-five is the norm. I've got, uh, I could do with some more. So let's pick up those two. And everything else. Raw beast hide, I've got lots of, so I don't need that. Stone hide's quite pricey, so we'll leave that. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, good stuff. Did we check good stuff? I don't think we did. Let's give this another look. We did have the motes of harmony in there. Chilled mean, oh yes, we didn't look at this fully because um, we got the auctioneers killed. Anything that's actually cheap. Dream shards, a little bit cheaper. Essence of Undeath, we do have a few of. Eternal Life is looking quite cheap compared to the 27 gold, 16 gold for the 7. Scrape up a few of those. And Dream shards, we do have a few. So get some for 9.99 rather than 15. We'll pick up that five of five. That's gone to 10, but I don't believe that's correct. Oh no, it has changed. Okay, I'll leave that and let's have a look at the working Legion enchanting. Arcana is at 15 exactly. So if my silk I buy for 5, I mean the mat cost is actually 15.26. So that's actually quite cheap. Chaos crystals are up a little bit to 234. So someone's bought a few more of those. I'm still at 274 buy price, unfortunately. So I'm going to leave that because they might drop down again. And I do have 2,500 of them for now. But that arcana, the 12 of 1, 
I know it's only 12 and I'll burn those through those so quickly. Let's just take those and give myself a helping hand with those. And in terms of the last thing to look at, that was the volatiles. We'll double check on those. Chaos orbs, volatile fire. Life's quite cheap-ish. 29 gold. We do have 178 of them, so we'll just buy a couple just to keep that topped up. Uh, good evening, Z. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Just finished up with all our shopping. So that's done. Oh, cooking ingredients. We haven't done that. This should really be in our favourite shopping group. Can't forget cooking. Need to make sure we can just pick up anything cheap when it comes on cheap. Rhino meat's looking cheap. That was mainly for the cooking dailies, though, to make those rhino hot dogs. Don't really need to do those anymore. So I'll leave those. That bacon's looking cheap at 30 gold, though. Not that I'm sure I use it much these days. And my stock hasn't really been going down much. It's hovered at around 526 for a while. Is bacon actually used? Let's have a look. Uh, all cursed green fish is quite cheap. I'll need some of that. And some lay blood. I always use that up. Right, looking at our cooking. It's in the lavish fe feast, yeah, that's what I was going to check. I'm, I'm sure it's used in something. There we are. Lavish Surama feast uses three slices of bacon. Okay, so I don't tend to make them that much. I certainly don't sell the uh, crispy bacon because that's, uh, that's at a loss. I don't think people really use that. For lavish feast, you have to make sure that the five meals inside are crafting and not looking at auction house prices. Ah, that's a point, Cossack. I haven't done that. I've just been leaving it as it is. Uh, thank you, um... Oops. As it will stop showing up on your crafting list. Okay. I didn't catch your name for the follow. I'll catch you when it comes in on the text. Right, okay. So that's a good point. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll come back to cooking in a minute. Ah, classic. There we go. Thank you for the follow. Did I run out of lavish? Um... Let's have a look. Where am I at with lavish? Um, I don't appear to have any on me, so I don't appear to have crafted any. I've sold 269, so I wonder if my operation's not crafting that because of the profit margins, perhaps. Let's buy these and then we'll go and have a have a proper look at that because that looks like it could be set up incorrectly. Um, Moskill perch we've got a lot of. Cursed queen fish we could do with more because we're using that right now. And the bacon. I mean at 30 gold that's cheap. I mean my average purchase price is 64 so I'm going to buy some of that just to take my averages down a little. Not a lot though. Lean shank. Oh, I've got lots of that. Lay blood. I've got lots of. Wildfowl eggs. I've got quite a few of. I'll just buy the 125 though. There we go. Okay, with that done, let's have a look at this. Right. So, lavish surma feast is showing a profit of 117. Ah, thank you, Solus5, for the follow. So, looking at my operations, 
for the food. I haven't looked at these in detail for a long time, actually. Exotic leather is 84 silver on your server. Wow. That's a quite a price difference. Okay, so looking at my feast, um, hearty feast and lavish surma feast. You're saying the crafting cost is based off of these. So for instance, slice of bacon is at 195. Here's the slice of bacon. Materials. Cooking. Slice of bacon is at 65, which is my average buy. Okay, so that's fine. But then let's have a look at labor Q ribs. Is three times average buy? No, um, it will be, yes. Um, looking at the feasts here. So three times the average buy which was 65. My average buy was 65 and so the slice of bacon times three comes in at 195. And then the labor cube bit ribs times three are coming in at 29 gold. So looking at labor cube ribs, the crafting cost of those is coming out of nine gold which is the price of big gamey ribs by a half lay blood by a half so if we were to look at our labor Q ribs that's the minimum between db market crafting vendor buy and convert db market which i think it's probably going to be taking the crafting i would imagine I mean, I could change that to be just crafting. Which might be more accurate. So if I change that to crafting. Like so. Copy that. Ignore the fighting that's going on in the background. And what were the other ones you said to check on? Let's try, right, start with Barracuda. Let's just change that to crafting. And drug bar style salmon. We'll change to crafting. I mean, I think it's been working okay at what it's at, but because I think it's probably taking the right values but let's just make sure that TSM is doing it the way we want it to do labor Q ribs we did at crafting and surma surf and turf we want to set to crafting as you suggest okay so what we do need to look at though is the crafting operation for the feasts so the group operation for that is crafting feasts. And so the minimum profit I've set for that was um, a flat 300 gold, which is why I'm not making any because looking at it here, the profit was only 200 gold or so. So maybe I need to change that to 200 gold would be a nice what are my feasts? Um, so hearty feast is a profit of 83 gold. And lavish surma feast is a profit of 116 gold. So I wonder if I wanted to make these, it might be worth just reducing this down a little to something like, um, say 80 gold will that take into the account the auction house cost though if I sold them for that will I be making a profit if I buy a lot of bacon I could get my average down yes that's a good point Costo ah greetings Ignis 
So the bacon, looking at the lavish Surama feast, let's just queue one up so we can see it. Uh, no, that's no good. Let's just look at it here on the tool tip. So looking at the lavish Surama feast, yes, the biggest cost there is the bacon. It would average down. You never buy above 30 anymore. All alts go kill the fatties. Yeah. I think you're speaking some good sense there, uh, Kostuk, as, as you have done throughout tonight, which has been amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to 200 gold as a more reasonable one. Feast of the most interesting item this expansion. The crafting costs from TSM is way too high. Yes, I think based off of the uh, price of bacon that I've been buying it at, everything's now set to crafting and average buy. So what I would really need to do is find an auctioneer that's open. So that bacon we had for 30 gold. How much bacon have we got and how much can we get our averages down? There's 48 of 5 at 30 gold, which for here is pretty cheap. So if I were to buy these up, I mean our average purchase price is a high 65. You calculate the raw mats from the raw mats. You calculate the raw mats from the raw mats now for feasts. Why not check the undermine journal? Which for? For the bacon? Or for the lavish Surama feasts? Yes, crafting. Yeah. Which I think we've set to now, haven't we? So I'm going to buy... Oh, for the bacon. Okay. Let's have a look. Undermine journal. Let's move this on over. So we're going to look for a slice of bacon. Let's move that around. There we go. Slice of bacon. And the undermine journal says median is 67. So the price has had taken a fairly downward trend at the moment. It's really dropped off since the API was down. The trend is down for me. So I think buying them at 30. Where are we at? We're probably in here somewhere. There we are. We're just in there. So looking at that, I think um, the 30 is a, is a good deal. Welcome Saudi Crown Prince. I didn't spot the ad. Let's have a look at that. Which one was that? Oh there. <laughs> Hashtag welcome Saudi crown prince, in fact, even better. <laughs> I'm not going to click on that. Right, okay, yeah, so definitely 30 gold for 45 of 5 is definitely worth it, I think. That will get my average down. A decent amount, hopefully. Will my average update as I buy it? I don't think it will. I think it normally updates when I open the mail. So let's buy these up and see what happens. Buy all the bacon. On five. And I'll pick up another one. There we go. So we were at an average purchase price of 68. So if we now go pick up the bacon. Uh, 
And we'll see what this is next. Another load after this, so I might just do a quick reload. Oh, quick in uh, relative terms, that is. Well, this has been good. Nice, nice having some uh, some advice on my uh, crafting operations. Thank you, uh, Costo, for all of this. It's been really handy, just sort of nailing down where uh, TSM might have been miscalculating things. All right, let's open up the last lot. We bought a few other things, didn't we? So we'll pick those up. Arcana. Right, so bacon wise now, what kind of quest has a huge ugly orc jumping on the heads of cute little marmots? <laughs> ADHD for the win, absolutely custok. You just wish you could sleep, oh that's a shame, uh, insomnia not for the win. At least you have us, us for company for the moment. So our average has now gone down to 53 gold, which is a little bit of an improvement over the 68, but times that by three, you're, dis you're just discovering Panzerland and its weirdness. Ah, okay. I haven't fully done the Panzerland yet, but I would like to get into it. I normally chatter you to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry it's kept you so active tonight. It's because we're doing some interesting stuff which you've got input in. Maybe if I go off and do some drain or stuff then I can uh, lull you off to sleep. So now, Lavish Surama Feast Profit is saying 152 gold. Hearty Feast, interestingly, is coming in at 120 gold. It was definitely a fluffy edition of WoW. <laughs> Yes, it was very pretty. I, enjoy, I, I enjoyed what bits I did as I leveled through it. Um, I'd like to come back and finish it off. Have you tried belly breathing? That's a new one. I haven't heard of that before. Okay. Um, so I'm going to change my crafting operation for Hearty Feast and Lavish Surama Feast to be anything with a profit over a hundred gold so I could at least sell some of them by now oh, some auctions have just expired by now do a restock TSM should hopefully pick up my new bacon price my new crafting material price and tell me that it wants to make 15 lavish surama feasts which is cool hated the idea of world of kung fu panda craft at the time you still do to be honest but doing the tillers farm for a free source of mats you just need your dopamine level settled again and it will get better okay these brain jumps proves it's happening ah okay well I hope it settles for you soon uh, Costo Right, we're going to have to do some gathering. Chef's hat time, I think. There we go. Right, start gathering. Ooh, stop moving, there we go. Put your hands in your belly and inhale through your nose while making sure it's your belly that rises, not your chest. Exhale through your mouth. Do this all slowly, concentrating on your breathing. After about two minutes of this, your brain calms down a little and you can try sleeping. Ah, that's an interesting idea, um, Kaifin. I've never had to try something like that myself because I've always been very good at just dropping off to sleep. Right, where's my gather window gone? I'm sure I had it. Oh, I left it up here. Move that down. 
intermediate crafting. Oh, we need to make a few. Let's try. Yeah, this starts to disappear now, so I hope I've got them all. Let's gather items. It's what you use for your anxiety since getting sick. Ah, oh, okay. It does sound like it would be useful. It's almost, it sounds very uh, meditative. Right, no, oh, we've got everything. You do it laying down so you don't have to move to go to sleep. Uh, that's a good plan. So, crafting wise, we need to make a few. Drog bar. Where's my drog bar style salmon? There it is. Three and Q. Labor Q ribs times five and Q. Serum our surf and turf times five. Barracuda. Q that and Koi scented will Q that. There we go. Um, ceiling watching sucks majorly, you know your feeling, yeah. I think that's probably quite a good way of uh, summarising it, see. There's not a lot that you can do about it. Try everything and you're just there with an active brain. Alright, so let's run through all these with our super fast chef's hat. And see if we can get some sales of lavish Suramar Feast. I think all my gladiator stuff's expired though, so I need to go and repost that on. Let's get the salads done, get the delicacy platters done, and then the lavishes, there we go. Loads of these. Okay, here we go. And head on back. Post these on. We haven't even gone to visit Nomi after all this time. So I think once we've got these on, let's go give him a. You cook a hundred lavish a day. Wow. That's certainly volumes. I think if I was doing that, the server's going to run out of bacon soon. Wow, yeah, definitely. What would be a good alliance server for gold making? Um, you're in the US. Um, um, I think there's things to be found in in any server. What are we selling? Oh, bear tartar. A lot of bear tartar. We're going to have to make some more now. Not Kazakh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the uh, US servers. Any auction houses are now cross faction, so it doesn't matter what side you choose. This is true. Storm rate has an insane ally population, lots of competition, but also insane volume of sales. Right, okay. Um, I'm not going to do that bear tartar now, because otherwise I'll be at the auction house all day. Let's get ourselves to Dalaran, and we can do a few extra bits. <laughs> Just complete bonkers at Kazakh. Okay. You must be the only one who actually likes Kazakh. Okay. Agnes is at Storm Rage, okay. Right, I can... Ooh. No, we'll wait. You're fine. I just clicked the wrong window. Mr. Potato is fine. Everything is fine. There we go. 
Went to try and see if it's possible to make gold on Kazakh. No problem. Oh, okay. Well, that's promising at least. Feel like a medium pop is probably better than high pop. I think there's there there are niches to be found on any server, really. That was the slow auction house, right? Yeah, that that's the same with the uh, I think Silver Moon on EU is the same. Right, what have you got? Oh, we've got a recipe scrap. That's good. How many recipe scraps have we got now? Five. Five more and we can complete Nomi. Okay, let's get these going. Um, you can cook, do dishes, hang laundry, feed the cats, while just scanning for materials. Wow. That does seem pretty nuts. Right, create all. Just the cursed queen fish to go. How many prepared ingredients have we got? Uh, nine. Not quite enough. Okay. Um, high pop realms, more competition and undercuts, but high volumes, exactly. But slow auction houses. I've never really experienced any other than my own server, which is particularly low pop, I believe. You went to the pub for a couple of hours, came back, and your auctions were still posting. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a good reason just to stay in the stay in the pub, see. Right, okay, what did I need to do here? Did I have any people to pick up? Yes I did. Pick you up and then head back over here. Pick up our missions, which is some gold, which is nice. Oh, what's this? Haven't seen this one. Oh, set of champions, item level to 925. I haven't done that. What else have we got? Oh, Augustian Reach would be good. Right, well, let's do Augustian Reach. And the gold. I think those will be much more preferable. And then this, I can pick up one for 925, so I'm going to pick that one up. Okay. Those done. All oh, Dark Zalots have been exhausted. Let's make sure I make some more. There we go, we're done. We spoke quickly. I really hate the running animation when I'm in here. It's got this like crouch down run, which is really weird. Right, world quests. What have we got world quests? Any good Bloods of Sargeras? I've got over a hundred Bloods of Sargeras now, because I just really haven't been making that many enchants. They just haven't been selling as much as they used to. I haven't been on top of them as much as I used to. So, there's a double-edged sword there. There's also a double-edged sword here, and here, and there. Right, okay, so... Looking at the map, what have we got? Well, there's a couple of armies of Legion 4 ones there. And... What have we... Oh, there's a six bloods. I'll take that. No big bacon ones. There's a three for the Silkweave Epaulets. And a three... Oh, that's Laystone Ore. Don't want that one. Okay, just the two useful ones. So let's go to the Broken Shore first, because that's the greater number one. Let's head to this one. Oh, it's so much nicer being able to see more with, um, with the view set to five, I can actually see the broken shore and not just the fog when I leave Dalaran. It's amazing. I don't turn it up to 10. I don't think my FPS would be quite that good. I think 80 is quite decent. 
at least for streaming as well. I haven't tested any dungeons actually since upgrading Mr. Potato. I wonder what it'll be like with um, doing a heroic or something. Because those tend to be quite intense. They were certainly laggy before when I was doing them. We that one. We want Call of Battle. Where's Call of Battle? Should be nearly there. Oh, it's over this way. You need to get your desktop out of the act top back in action. Try a world boss with 40 people. Yeah, I think that, that would kill it, wouldn't it? Well, it might not. Where am I going? Do I want to go further up? I think I need to go further up. Use WoW as a fog simulator. <laughs> there we go. Click that. Down the groups. Okay. Legion forces slain. What do we need to do? Do that, do that, do that. Legion forces slain. Do you, do that, do that. Use the hammer. Okay, that's quite good. What else do we need to do? Let's look at the objectives. We did the big guy. And defense is destroyed. These are the floating ones, isn't it? Okay. How do we kill the defenses? Use the hammer, I imagine. Let's try that. Do that. There we go. Go do these defenses. Do that one. Do that. Oh, might as well loot you. Hold on, come backwards. Yeah, run around this way. I oh, we've done that one. Where's the next thing? Oh, there's another one over here. Go pick that one up. Need to get these respawned properly. Did him. It's just the defences we need to destroy. I need my group members to be doing the defences. Are these the same? Oh yes, they are the same. We can use those. Okay, that makes it easier. It's not just the floaty things. Go around and do this one. The small shards, yeah, so we can do those as well. Okay. Do that. Oh, pressing the wrong button. One more to go. Let's find oh, this one just here. There you go. Have you selected that? There we go. Ah, marvelous. Okay. It's there, leaves there. Anything worth doing over here? No, not really. So we'll jump on a flight whistle. Get to the nearest flight path. And then we can go and uh, do the other bloods. Uh, Kostrak says my PC barely has ever lag. But then, but then you drop back to one frames per second. <laughs> Flight. I'd like a flight to the Bloods mission over here. There we go. Right. Whilst I'm flying, I'm just going to quick buy a break, then I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Okay. Let's just uh, catch up on the tack. Uh, hey, hey there, Soul Maestro. You know the feeling one, one friends per second on world bosses. Oh, hello, pretty tat. You can just say hello. Uh, four to five frames per second on a raid on the pool. That was on a four year old first gen. With no, gr no dedicated graphics card. Wow. Recently upgraded to the last gen Intel with 16 gig and a 1060, and you bet you're loving it. Wow, I bet that is very good. Need new RAM and GPU for mine. Process should be okay for nine. You got uh, four gigabyte uh, DDR3 and an ATI 5770. Uh, okay. Um, by the way, you'll get a quest to get six champions to 925. That's on the broken shore. Okay, thank you, Hieronymus. I thought I saw a putty tat. Yep. He's fallen fallen down on the floor, waiting for me to go over and stroke him. You still have your 10 year old i2500K, best CPU you ever had. Yeah, I had a um, AMD one that was really good. Oh, and a hate to you as well. For me, it was an awesome excuse to upgrade uh, Win 7 to Win 10. As you only upgrade Windows if you do the hardware. Yes, that's true. You missed a kitty? Oh, he's walked off now. He's he's gone to uh, he's gone to look out the window. Old fluff morn. The other one Norm, normally sits behind me here, but uh, she must be upstairs in bed at the moment. Right, we're just over here for the silkweave epaulets, so we need to make some of these. Oh, here he comes. He's just behind me now. This is uh, this is Oreo, but I call him Fluffmorn because he's just so fluffy. I think he's hiding behind me now. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, it's going behind the sofa. Silkweave epaulets. Choose some of those. Oh, we need some shoulder eye silk, which we forgot to pick up. Where is it? It's in the guild vault. Okay, we can do that. We can use our special guild thingy. Let's move this over here. And what's it in? Spellbook and abilities, isn't it? General mobile banking. We need this. And then we can open that and pick up some shelter eye silk. There we are. And then we can make one of those. There we go. A10 was good till uh, the graph. Engine upgrade of uh, ward after that. Everything on the lowest wasn't even getting me above 10 frames per second. Oh, that sounds bad. Um, so we've got plots we want to keep. We do want to now just hop our way over to the quest itself, which is in here and in here. And you do you pick up that one and do that one and pick up the three bloods. There we go. Of Legion, not Wad. Oh, okay. It was still good in Wad. Good. Right, okay. Yes, I found with Legion, my old card, the 710, was okay, but Argus, it was really struggling with. That's when I noticed a particular frame rate drop. But that's with settings on one for quite a while and streaming. So now that I've got settings of fine, five, Argus is pretty good. Oh, thank you, Emery, for the host. Okay, last thing, we're going to go to the garrison and do our daily bits and pieces over there. Because I'm probably going to think about wrapping up the stream soon, as it's getting quite late. I'll do our... I'm not going to do our daily garrison flying stuff today. I think that's probably for another time. But we'll do... We'll do the other bits, and I must remember to do the... Look, look for uh, Dorothy Toot. Uh, later on today with any luck 
can always find a group with her. Okay, missions wise, we did quite a few of these before. Garrison resources, weapon and tailoring. Okay, what could we do with... Tailoring would be good, but we're only at 83% for that. So I'm going to do... Garrison resources instead. That one's 250, so that seems good. So I might as well pick these easy ones. And what's this? Uh, R Strain Pro. Oh, of course, the um, Dark Moon Fair. Yes, I forgot about that. Thank you, Hieronymus. Yes, I was going to go over and do that for. Um, if I was going to do the Draenor rep grind. I won't be doing that tonight anyway. I'll try, and, I'll try and remember that for tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a earlier stream. I'm going for... I think it's between 4 and... Or just buy the stuff in the art auction house for the Wards of Drain or Rep. Yes, the medallions. I could probably just buy those and it'll be done. Um, it is the Dust Trader today, isn't it? In the garrison till the daily reset. Is it in. Yes, it's the Dust Trader today and then it's the Fur Trader tomorrow. That's right. Oh, sumptuous fur is worth getting. Um, no, hold on, let's use TSM vendoring. I've got 2,070, so let's get some. How much do we want? 100? 20? 10? No. There we go. There we are, done. Glad to help. Uh, I got some of your alts and you did you got it on some of your alts and did cheap fur in the trading post yeah I think that's a really really handy if you can have several alts to do that I need to set some more alts up I don't have nearly enough actually no I'll do the I'll do the herbs first go back to the gorgrind and then do that Uh, so shame you, you might miss that one, Costa, if you're sleeping through. But uh, I'll I'll put the vod up, and then I'll always put them on YouTube afterwards, so you could always catch up then. Hopefully, I've got a good schedule um, next week. I'm pretty much going to be continuously streaming every day. I've been going seven days straight so far, and so I'm hoping to do another six days of streaming. And then have a break on Sunday, which is Mother's Day. So obviously, uh, I shan't be streaming then. And depends what happens throughout the week as well. But that's the plan anyway. You thought earlier, as in 7 a.m. Um, yeah, it's not super early. It's between it's four, um, four in the afternoon and eight in the evening I think I'm planning or nine yes uh, in the UK we have Mother's Day in March so it's quite early for us I think in the US you have it uh, a different day don't you right okay we'll pick these up and make good use of that sumptuous fur we just picked up and put some work orders in Hello. how many can we do? there we go, that's enough just found out Easter is on April the 1st alright, I scared you with that <laughs> okay, sorry Heron Nurse yeah, I forget you have it on a different isn't it June or July in the US? You almost have all your level 100 alts on your first account joined with extreme scavengers for extra resource rewards to turn into frostweed or fur in their trading posts. Get the garden set um, to only frostweed can be done. Yeah, 
So I've got mine set to Gorgon Flytrap at the moment. That's actually better, so not crammed with uh, graduations and vacations. Ah, oh, okay. It's May the 13th in the Netherlands. Oh, okay. And it's May the 13th in the US. Oh, okay. So it's both the same for both of you. Now we have it in March here for some reason. And then Father's Day is in, I think, June or July or something. Right. I'm not going to go and do the, the dailies here, so I'm going to leave it at that. We'll head back to the auction house. I haven't even looked on Earthen yet. June 17th. Yes, I think I think we have the same. It's something like that. It's very sim sounds similar. I never remembered myself. What's happening? Uh, we need anything we can sell? No. Okay. Oh, I had some rush orders I could have used. Okay. Right. I think that's everything I wanted to achieve on Samadam. Oh, no, it's not. We've got some expires we need to put on. Let's open them up first. Oh, and 679 gold. Google is your friend. Absolutely. There we go, right. Run a post scan on those things that had expired. And we did have some bear tartare we could probably end up making, but I might do that in my routine tomorrow. It's the second Sunday of May for all that got Mother's Day. Okay. So for all, it's the 13th of May this year. Right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, minimum price is below vendor price. What's that for? Cloak of Prowess. Are you sure? Crafted Dreadful Gladiators cloak of prowess this one vendor sell price is 12 gold doesn't look like it is it's odd okay that week is nuts Thursday before Jesus dies oh no it goes to heaven on Thursday so you've got Easter and Mother's Day. Right. I think that was all those things. Okay, right. Well, I think I'm probably done here. I want to say a big massive thank you to you all for stopping by and hanging out in the chat thank you for all the follows uh, thank you Sharkin for the host that was amazing I hope you're sleeping like a baby now I hope you managed to get some sleep yourself Kostuk and everyone else depending on when you are let's have a look and see if there's anyone we can host who's on ah the very chill sub-level B, who is also a gold maker and farmer. I think if we pass on the pass on the host to him, he's he's a uh, very much chill as well and relaxed. So um, I'll pass the host on to him. You knew it. <laughs> you called it sub. You called it caustic. So thank you all for the stream. Um, thank you for your company, and thank you all for the follows and I shall see you again. Tomorrow is going to be four, four till eight um, GMTV in the afternoon. So I um, hope you can join me then and we shall uh, see you next time. Let's just open up subs.
upstream so I can uh, just mute the advert first so that can come run through right there we go he seems to be running around at the moment right okay so thank you all I shall put the host over to sub level B slash host sub level B there we go send him some love with his new baby okay have a great evening everyone and hopefully see you tomorrow <laughs>